Welcome back, everyone, to The Complete Pine Leaf, where I am back here with the Lachar, after we have taken care of the troubles here at Einhard's homestead, but apparently there are other troubles nearby. We have to follow the goblin's trail and see where it leads. While we are out in the wilds, we should see what else we can do for the people who live here. We may not have much time before they decide to raid the other homes in the area. All right. What do we do? Let us return to the tracks where we were ambushed. I will sniff out the goblins that made them, and we will find these foes wherever they might hide. All right, let's return to the Coblin tracks. Oh, but apparently she has other stuff also to do. The bales are under our protection. I smell more goblins here, Pine Leaf. They must be waiting for the homes to be emptied so they can break in and take everything that isn't nailed down. Find them. And we will show them how mighty we are. We will give them a great beording roar and send them fleeing. Now, I suppose you're asking me at the same time to give a mighty goblin roar? Well, we'll see how that works. The bales must be made safe. Do what you can. There are other woodsmen living in the area that are now in danger. They must be warned that the goblins have come down from the mountains that are moving south. I fear that the next time the goblins decide to strike, the woodmen will not be as lucky as Zanhard. All right, so let's... Let's find some tracks, do some roaring, and... Right, find tracks, do roaring, and oh yes, warn people. The tracks go north from here, so let's see how easily we could follow them. I hope we're not going to get too far off. They will continue up to the north. Right, more along this way. Yeah, continue along this way. Here we go. Nice, sparkly tracks. Isn't that nice and polite? Hmm. Oh, oh. Here they are. They seem to change direction, did they? No, oh, they continue to the north, despite what looked like a little bit of a change of direction there. Oh! Goblins! Well, we have to deal with them. But that's only one of them, not the entire band. And besides, the tracks seem to continue along this way. And eventually, we are going to run into a larger portion. Hold on, the tracks have changed direction. Hmm. What's going on here? Let's have a close look. They go into an abandoned village. Well, 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 well. Walled fast. Oh, um, that does not look like it's in good shape. Well, hey, let's scare this one. Run away, run away, run away. All right. Where is this at? We are at... Everil. Alright, let's see if we could warn... Warning Everil seems to be redundant at this point, I would think. He seems to know that there's something wrong. I'm getting out of here! Okay, well... Bees? So we got any more cowardly goblins in the area? I suppose not. So what else can we do here? Let's see. Oh.
I lost the tracks. Well, I've lost their tracks. I certainly can see the handiwork of theirs. Maybe along the road? Oh! Well, we've got a couple of them here. Deal with the... Well, I think we'll need a little discussion here. I mean, this is obviously a place where they could have gone. Since there are plenty of goblins here, that's for sure. But, you think we should check back a little bit? Alright. Let's see what else we can find. Ah! The tracks are rather definitive. That is where they went. Oh no! This is the village of Waldvast. And the goblins have completely destroyed it. There are a few goblins out here, but not enough to level an entire village. There must be more goblins hiding somewhere nearby. Hmm, what to do? There's no one you're ready to continue in the search. Alright, I guess we could do that. What do you say? Give me a moment. I need to think. What are these goblins up to? That I don't know. A horde of goblins has departed Goblin Town and wrought chaos in its path. We have followed and come to their new hiding place. Now we have them cornered. It is time to find out what is going on here. There are a few goblins milling around out here, but this cannot be all of them. There must be more. I would bet a crate of honey cakes they must be in that cave behind the village. Ooh, there is where we should do. You go closer, and when you are ready, give me the signal. I will shout and roar and draw them from their hiding holes. You then sneak inside the cave and find out what is really going on here. That sounds like a plan to me, does it not? Alright, fine, I will... Alright, fine. I will head on in. A spot where he killed those other two goblins earlier. And... Alright, let's give a signal. Reminds me of... The time uh, back at Moria. Oh, the, there she is. Hear me, goblins! This village is under the protection of the Beyondings. Did you really think you could get away with this? Come out and face me, filthy green skins. I will slay all of you. Well, we'll see if that's a good enough distraction. Now, let's go in and find this cave. And hope that they haven't prepared a ambush for any unlucky hobbit that may decide to walk up here, right? Up. Up. Oh, up here. <laughs> yep, caves. Well, there is a goblin right there. Hmm. Hello. Oh my goodness gracious. Not the best idea ever. Oh, that's quite a way to start. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, finding these three at a time is probably not a good idea. I'll note that down. Alright, are, are you done now? Alright, good. Whew. Alright, now I'm healing up, so everything is gonna be nice for the rest of it. We hope. Hmm. Yeah, I should cook some better food. All right. Loyal Goblin. Loyal to whom? We will have to find out at some point. Hey, 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 hey! Obviously, not loyal to me. 
Highly unlikely I'll ever find a goblin that's loyal to me in any case, right? Now, let's see. Oh, hello. Okay, two at a time is more manageable than three, most likely. Especially if I remember my skills and do it properly. Like if you're facing two or three at a time, sap them for with your AOEs. I mean, that's what they're for, right? At least that's what I think they're for. You have found the Great Goblin and his host. So I guess they must be loyal to the Great Goblin if that's the case. All right, there we go. Traitors, all of them! It's not my fault, please! Ow! Those dragon-loving brutes think they can march down here from Gundabad and oppose me? Well, I'll show them. You, get back to Goblin Town and get more of them back on my side. We're going to go back there and kill these so-called warlord, and I will take back my throne. Yes, Great Goblin, please don't hurt me! They think so much better than us because they're tall! Huh. The rest of you get back to work! This army won't build itself! Alright, well... Apparently the Great Goblin is having some trouble with hobgoblins. It looks like she's been busy. Ha! A great battle! But these tiny things are no match for a Bajorni. Now, tell me what you have learned. Oh, the... Apparently some hobgoblins came in, kicked out the Great Goblin, and the Great Goblin is building an army inside this cave. Hmm, that has given me much to think about, Pine Leaf. Let us move away from the goblins before more come to investigate. And we will find somewhere to think this through. All right, I guess we could do that. So what do we do? We should return to Begbar and inform Scala of the great goblin's presence here. And also of what we've learned about Gundabad's activities. You go ahead. I will meet you there. Uh, hold on, please. I think a goblin has decided to take exception to our existence. Maybe to try to keep us from reporting on what we've heard. Alright, there we go. And what else do we need? I have slain goblins today. Can you say the same? Yes, I definitely most can say the same. I have visited Wildfast once before and found it a lovely village. The woodmen lived here in peace, farming and caring for their animals. We can't let these goblins occupy this land. All right. Well, looks like I'll have to do the same ten more times. Oh, it would have been nice if... I had taken that quest before I started that instance. Oh, well, uh, that's where things go. Oh, here is... One down, nine more to go. Yes, I did kill goblins today. The veils must be made safe. Do what you can. We certainly put a dent in their numbers. We must deal with this situation quickly so the people can return to their lives. Yes. Now, let's head on to the next thing, which is... We need to warn some people, and we need to give some shouts, and of course, return to town. Ah, here's another one of the farmsteads. Gudulis farmstead, hello. It's maybe time to get to a safe spot? Oh my, we must get to Vegbar. Yes, that would be a good idea. And the same for you, Bega. 
What? Goblins? I'll head to Veg Bar as soon as I can. All right, as soon as you can. Yeah, I think I also need to scare a cowardly goblin or two. Run away, run away. No, that's a wolverine. I... Oh, that that's a sentry. I, well, I could just kill the sentry. We don't want them around either. I mean, we, we could scare the cowardly ones, but the sentries, they are a little bit more resilient, shall we say. You know, apparently a little bit more fire-provoking. Ah, here's a cowardly goblin. Run away, run away, run away. Now, we just have to find the third home now. This farmstead also looks like it's intact. That's good news. So now, Hodver. Hello, it's time to evacuate. Goblins, do you think I could bring my animals to Vegbar? Well, that I don't know. Though I will scare away any local cowardly goblins. All right, now. Where did I speak to Lachar at? Probably at that town we were at before. I warned the rest of those farmers. The bales must be made safe. Do what you can. That accounts for everyone. They will be safe in Vigbar under Scala's protection. Now we can focus our attention on the goblin threat itself. Yeah? And I also managed to scare a few more goblins away. The Yorning's once made safe the Riverlands. Excellent! Roaring! E excuse me, but... Some goblins insist on dying. That, that's all I can say about that. Now, what were you saying? Oh yeah, if I didn't know better, I would think that you were secretly a Bjorning yourself. But, of course, that cannot be. Hmm, well... Whatever. <laughs> ah, now. To Scala. It appears we do have quite a problem with goblins. And here we thought the goblins were just getting creative with their raiding. Hmm. Ah, this is a serious situation, Pineleaf. The great goblin was happy enough to stay in his mountain tunnels and grow fat while his underlings squabbled over scraps. But the hobgoblins are another matter entirely. They're aggressive, vicious, and if reports from the north are true, they are most loyal to the Herald of Winter. A unified Gundabad in Goblet Town is an immediate threat to the people of the Vales. If we do not act quickly, a flood of goblins will wash over us, and few will survive. We simply do not have the numbers to combat such a massive force. Hmm. Well then, what do we do about that? Any suggestions? I am not sure I have ever seen Scala so concerned. There must be something we can do. I have a crazy idea, Pine Leaf, but it might just work. So, we have two goblin hosts to deal with. Not enough Bjornings to deal with either. And in the middle of it all, the hobgoblins and the great goblin plan to fight it out. If their forces are closely matched, they might just kill each other off. And all we would have to do is mop up the survivors. Based on what you saw in Waldfast, I think the great goblin is at a disadvantage in numbers. Perhaps we should... Even up the odds? I have some ideas for what we can do to pull this off. While you are dealing with things in Goblin Town, me going to Goblin Town. Yes, I am going to visit some good friends and see if I can get their help. Ask Scala if he can help you in the inside. Goblin Town. She wishes us to do something in Goblin Town to help to... 
even the odds between the goblins and the hobgoblins. Will it succeed? We have to uh, try that out in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.